Okay, so next to the last section of Alex Statistics, we will be looking at a traditional test for the population proportion. So let's take a look and see. Now, a recent study at a local college claimed that the proportion P of students who commute more than 15 miles to school is no more than 15%. In a random sample of 250 students at this college, uh, if, if this sample is selected, in other words, it is found that 52 commute more than 15 miles to school. So can we reject then at the uh, 0.01 level of significance, can we reject the college's claim? Well, let's go over here and take a look at our notes as we often do. And uh, notice here that uh, the claim is uh, that we that the proportion of students who commute is no more than 15%. Okay, in other words, no more than. That's 15% is the biggest it can be. So our claim is that our proportion is actually less than or equal to 0.15. Obviously, the opposite of that is greater than 0.15, so we pick our null and alternate hypotheses as we typically do. Now notice that we are dealing with a traditional test, so we have to work with critical values. Notice that in this case the sine of H1, as we've talked about before, is a greater than sign, so we're dealing with a right tail test. Also, we know here that the formula for a uh, proportion test is going to be a Z, and so this is a right tail Z test with a percent unsure of 0.01. So what we're going to do here is to make a drawing and show the lookup uh, for that. So let's go ahead and draw out our normal curve. It's a right tail test, so all of the area that we are unsure of is over here on the right hand side. So what we're interested in is this Z value right here, our critical value for Z. And of course now since uh, it's a right tail test, and since we want a Z value, we can use the Z button on our Alex calculator. And that Z button for 0.01 is going to give us 2.326. And so let's see now what are some of the things that are Alex is asking us for. Uh, notice here the null hypothesis. Well, if we go back and uh, take a look here at that, we will see our null hypothesis is P less than or equal to 0.15. So let's go back to Alex. P less than or equal to 0.15. One five, of course, our null hy or our alternate hypothesis, p is greater than zero point one five. Our test statistic will come back to that. Our critical value then, as we said, to three decimal places, two point three two six. So two point three two six, and that's the only one of those because this is a right-tailed test. And so let's go back to our notes here now and uh, catch up on them. Okay, so our critical value, 2.326. Now let's go ahead and, and run the calculation. This is mostly the easy part for you now, I would think. That uh, uh, once again here, notice that the 52 out of the 250 do drive farther uh, than, than the 15 miles to work. So we're going to have to calculate a p hat, which you've done before. So that's x divided by n. 52 divided by 250 is 0.208. So uh, notice that this time that came out even. It came right out even in three decimal places. Uh, 52 divided by 250. So we can look over here and see that came out exactly uh, equal in three decimal places or came out even. So that makes it easy. If it didn't do that, you might want to carry a lot of those decimal places. Rounding off too much can cause you trouble. But in this case, 0.208 
is the exact decimal. And we're going to minus the 0.15 and then down below here the square root of p times q over n. Once again here keep in mind that q is the complement of p or 1 minus p. You've done that many times so that's the 0.15 times the 0.85 divided by 250 and so let's uh, get our Alex calculator or our TI-30 busy on this problem. And one very nice thing about the TI-30XS, as well as the Alex calculator, is that kind of what you see is what you get here. You simply enter the, uh, the problem exactly as it appears on paper into the calculator, and then just simply by hitting enter, it'll crank that answer all in one step. We see here that our calculated value, our test statistic, is 2.5. 568. So let's go back to Alex and enter that. And now we are during the home stretch. So what we have then is the comparison section, the most critical section of the entire hypothesis test. First of all, let's follow our steps. We're going to draw the number line and I've done that. Notice that since we're dealing with a right tail test, most of the action is going to occur over here on the right side. So I've got a negative 1 here, and then all the rest of the numbers uh, after 0 are positive. We're going to label the critical regions. In this case, we only have one of those because it's a right tail test, and the critical value is 2.326. So 2.326 will be about here. Notice that since we're dealing with a right tail test, our critical region or our rejection zone will go to the right only and so if the value of our calculated value falls anywhere in here we reject the null hypothesis anything over in here we would fail to reject. Now notice here that our calculated value our test statistic does in fact fall to the right over in here someplace of the um, critical value and so we are in the rejection zone so we in fact are going to reject our null hypothesis here. And as always to conclude the test what we'll need to do is to go back here and take a look at our diamond chart. Once again it's not a good thing to try to think too much here. Simply go in here and take a look at our diamond chart and begin answering the questions. Now the question is does the original claim contain the condition of equality and this time we see that it does because remember the original claim is no more than 15% so that means less than or equal to 15% which does in fact contain the equality so yes and then did we reject and as we saw yes we did so there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim so let's go back to Alex now and see how they're posing that question can we reject that the proportion of students who commute and we say yes there is uh, sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim and then let's check it and we see here that we need to fill out a few additional boxes okay the test statistic is a Z we knew that but we didn't fill it in let's check it and we see that we are good to go so this uh, concludes the next to the last section of Alex Statistics.